Hi, everyone. It's me, Dr. Stacy Betancourt, with another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacy. This week, we look at acceptance. So the word itself can have a lot of different meanings. For example, are you willing to receive an offer for something that you're looking to buy? If you do, you're accepting that offer. Are you tolerating someone you really don't want to include, but you're doing it to say keep peace? Well, that's kind of the point of today is learning to accept yourself. That's kind of a different concept, but here's the situation. You know, at what point is learning to accept yourself something you think about? In general, we're very critical of ourselves. Um, you know, I'm too heavy, I'm too thin, my hair is not the right color, I don't dress the way I want, should want to dress. And so all these things, we're leaving the importance of ourself. And whether it's abilities or physical traits, we've got to begin to realize that, you know what, we are enough. And that's something that I seem to see happening at an earlier, earlier age where kids are not accepting who they are and they're growing into adults who are not accepting who they are. And so there's, you know, this leads to another factor. If, if, if you are accepting yourself and if you're saying, you know what, I am enough then why bother with the other factor of, you know, why should I bother exercising or watching what I eat or caring how I dress if I'm enough? Well, there's kind of a balance to that. And, and my feelings are in acceptance. It is the ability to accept within myself the facts about, about me that I find positive. Uh, for example, I'm very sensitive. And growing up, I used to be really criticized for that. Um, sometimes I care too much about the things I can't change, um, either external or even internal things about me that I can't change or something external that really has nothing to do with me in a way, but yet it does, certain belief systems. Um, so there's that. And so the question is, is how can I use the energy to change when I can't quite do it because it's out of my hands? You know, do you see where I'm going with this in that sense? Um, and yes, these are my notes. <laughs> I always take notes. So the thing is, is acceptance to me is knowing what is good in others what is good in myself and accepting that others are going to be different. And, you know, I could look at it as, are they different enough that they compromise my belief systems? And that could be a challenge. That might be something that I can't accept. Or if it's something I can overlook because who they are means far more than what they might do outside of my presence. So there's that. And the idea is different outlooks. Can we accept people who are not within the same mindset as we are and accept them for who they are? because it's something you can't change. So the thing is, is there's a saying that says, you can't change others, you can only change yourself. And that's true, but it's also learning that you can't change others. So you have to decide if you're willing to accept them for who they are. And if you can, then that's worth every bit of having them in your life. Accepting yourself 
is very important. So the next time you hear yourself say, gosh, I'm so stupid, or I'm so, I'm so fed up with the way I look, start accepting yourself a little more. Could there be things you change? Yes, and that's okay. Could there be things about yourself? Negative self-talk is absolutely something you should not accept within yourself. And that's negative, isn't it? That's a negative acceptance. But let me just explain it. This comes down to you are enough. Will you be totally a genius on everything? No. Are there people who are? Yes. And that's okay. So understanding what you're willing to accept takes a thought process. And so I challenge you. You can either accept my thoughts here or you can have different considerations. And either way, that's okay. That's what makes us human. So accepting the things that we can't change and accepting the things we can. So let me know your thoughts on this, okay? Let me know what you think about all this. And this week, remember to treat everybody with respect. Try to exercise a little bit accept of acceptance where you can overlook the things that you can't change. Remember to treat everyone with respect. You don't have to agree with them. You can completely disagree, but you can still be kind. Okay, so give that a try. Let me know what you think. Remember to treat the others um, with respect because again, we don't know what they're going through. Treat yourself with a little more acceptance because you know what? You're worth it, okay? So for now, it's something to consider. Let me know your thoughts, okay? And I hope that you guys have a great week and I will see you next week. And so for now, this is Dr. Stacy Betancourt with another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacy. Take care.